Today I'm starting a batch of carnelians. So I thought I'd show you how I do that. So here are the raw rocks. I've got 10 pounds of them. They don't look like too much right now. Uh, kind of an orangish, orangish color to them. So, uh, make it look easier, but like I said, they don't look like much before you start tumbling them. So, hopefully, they turn out looking a little better than this when we get done. So, I'm going to use a three pound barrel and uh, I'll just throw some in there. Try to get about two thirds to three quarters full. That looks about right. Then I use a half cup of water in a barrel this size. Most people probably use a little more than that. And I'm using uh, silicon carbide. This is 80 grit. Uh, you could use 6090 or 4670. If you're using a bigger barrel, I'd suggest using a more coarse grit like 4670. Uh, but in a small barrel, it really doesn't matter too much. You could use either. So this is 80. I'm going to put three tablespoons in there. And then this is going to go in my big tumbler. And I'll check in on it in a week. These have been tumbling for a week now, and they're coming along nicely. Uh, they really show the color now compared to before. These are what they look like dry. Of course, they're wet, so it's not a completely fair comparison, but they also get a little bit of the crust taken off of them, and uh, they just look a little brighter after the first week. So, these aren't done yet. They've got a ways to go. Oh, that one's close. A little spot right there and a little rough spot right there. But that'll be ready next week already. Uh, most of these will go for several weeks before they're ready. So these will all go back in. And see if we can fit some more rocks in there. Oh yeah, these. These are quite a bit smaller than they were before. I haven't taken any out, but there's definitely room for some more rocks. So, throw one, two, three, three. Yeah, that looks about good. Three, three more rocks in there. So I'll uh, reload this with water and grit, and throw it back on the tumbler, and I'll check back in with you again next week. All right, two weeks down, and uh, this is what we got. Uh, I looked these over already uh, briefly. Uh, most of these are wet, so they look shiny, but if I dry them off, they're, they're not actually shiny. Uh, so this one was almost done last week, and uh, this week it is done. Um, I took a look at it. I use these magnifiers uh, just to kind of look them over a little bit more closely, and uh, this looks pretty good, ready to go to the next stage. Uh, the problem is, I held it up to the light and it's supposed to be carnelian. It is clearly not transparent at all. Uh, this is translucent, I should say. Uh, the carnelian, you can see light through really well. Uh, this is completely opaque. No light goes through it at all. So this is, um, it's ready to go on, but it's just not the same kind of rock as everything else. So I paid for carnelian and this one got thrown in with a batch. So if that happens sometimes, um, I'll throw it in, polish it up and see what it looks like. And, and if it looks cool, great. If not, it's just a little rock, so no loss. So uh, these will go back into the tumbler. Uh, everything got a little smaller. I've taken a rock out, so I'll have to throw in a couple more rocks just to make up for the lost volume, and uh, we'll check in again next week. I just rinsed the rocks off after their third week in the tumbler, and they're coming along nicely. They've still got a long ways to go, but I'm um, seeing progress. They have one rock that's done. Uh, unfortunately, this is not a carnelian, so if you look, no light shines through that, uh, and light shines through all these other ones. So this is the same kind of little rock I took out last week. Uh, I should probably just throw them out, but I'm just going to throw them in. It's not taking up much space, so it's not going to hurt anything. Uh, the rest of these, they have ways to go. They are smoothing out, but they still have some pretty sizable 
dents in them, so it'll be a little while yet. So let's throw them back in here. Set that one aside. And I'm going to throw in some little scraps here. These are from my saw. And these should get in between little nooks and crannies a little better. Um, I just want the smallest ones in there. And so those are smaller than the other rock. And they should just uh, make more surfaces uh, contacting each other, which should help the grind get done just a little bit quicker. And then we probably have room for maybe one more rock in there. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, if you don't have saw scraps, if you're just starting, you probably wouldn't have saw scraps. You can get some little uh, pea gravel or something. Just make sure it's a pretty hard rock. Uh, you don't want to put like limestone gravel in there because it'll just it'll wear down the first week and just make your slurry really thick and not really do the job you want it to do. So you want something that's kind of hard. Uh, so we're going to put those back on the tumbler and uh, we'll check on them again next week. Well, another week and no rocks done. Uh, they're getting smaller though and that's good so I have room for one additional rock and some more little pieces in there, leaving the other pieces in. Uh, so we're going to roll that for one more week and I'll see you then. Well the first rock is done. Little tiny guy but it's done. Uh, the rest of these have a long ways to go. Uh, the volume is down a little bit though so I'm going to throw in a handful of small ones with them and maybe a few more of these little scraps. Try to get these things moving a little bit faster. So, on for another week. We're six weeks into this and these are not even close. Uh, I mean, there might be a couple that are close. Uh, that one's actually pretty good, uh, but nothing is done yet. So, back in for another week. All right, I'm seven weeks into this tumble and I'm not super happy with the progress I've made. Actually, I'm not happy at all. Uh, so far, I have two little rocks that aren't even carnelians. That are done. And this little tiny piece here, and this little tiny one got done today. And honestly, those don't even look like carnelians. They're kind of uh, kind of white colored. So uh, these two have huge holes in them. I'll just show you. This hole goes in probably a quarter inch. Um, and there's other holes like that all over this rock, and this rock's the same way. So those are probably never going to come out to be good rocks. These other ones are coming along, but very slowly. They've all got quite a ways to go. Nothing in here looks like it's going to be done for at least a few weeks. So i got to change of plans. The new plan is a 12-pound barrel. So I'm going to put all the rocks that I have in here. I have 10 pounds of rocks. They're all going in here. Uh, originally, I wanted to do this kind of as a beginner video, um, which most beginners would have a small barrel like this. Um, but the big barrel will get things done a lot quicker. Uh, there's more weight pushing down on the rocks as they're turning, plus I'm just tumbling a lot more rocks, so something's bound to get done. Uh, I think I'll just have better, better luck with this big barrel. So, got these little saw scraps in here, throwing those in there. the bad ones so I just barely have enough to fill this up and then all these doing everything and a few more little soft scraps that fills it up about three quarters just like I want it so uh, this will go on the big tumbler there and hopefully we'll see some results a little bit sooner. So we'll see you next week. All right, we're about two months into this tumble now. Uh, I'm into the big barrel. Uh, a lot of these are really, really, really deeply pitted. Um, so this is still gonna be a while, even doing all the big tumbler. Uh, these two are done. Uh, this is another one of the same kind of rock that's been in here that's not a carnelian. Um, it's opaque. Um, it seems pretty soft. I saw a couple other ones in there, so I'm throwing them in um, and just running them. This one has a big crack right here, uh, but I can't feel the crack, and to tumble that away would tumble the whole rock away, so I'm just going to run that as it is um, in the next stage. This one's really close to being done. There's a little spot right there that's not finished yet, but it's, uh, it's just about there. 
and then these uh, all need some work. I'm going to split that one in half right along that great big groove there uh, with the chisel. Uh, I'm going to attempt to get this thin fractured thing off of here. Uh, maybe with a screwdriver and a chisel I can pop that out of there. I, I don't know if I'll be successful, but I'm going to give it a try. Uh, this has a thing sticking out here, and there's a really deep hole right there. So if I can knock that end off and this, this little part off, um, that'll be good. And then this one I'm going to break with the chisel right there. So I'm going to do that right now. I'll be back in a second. Well, that went pretty well. I got this little piece off. It is a pretty big hole there, so that's still going to be a while. Big hole on the other side anyhow, so I don't know what's going to happen with that one. Um, this came off, came off on a couple pieces, but that's the way I want it to be. A uh, little tiny piece there and a, and a bigger chunk there, that, that looks good. And that one split exactly where I wanted to. I don't know how that went together, but anyhow, um, that came off just like I wanted, so everything looks good. Uh, these are all going in here. Those are done, so uh, off for another week of rolling. All right, another week down, and uh, this week got four done. So I'll show you this one first. It's the best one. We got a little water level action going on there. Um, this one has a little pinhole right there. I'm not sure if that extends in further, so I'm just going to call this good, and uh, it's uh, ready for the next stage. These two are not carnelians, but I'm throwing them in anyway because they're done. And this one actually looks like a Montana agate to me. Uh, but I like Montana agates, so I don't mind if they threw in a Montana with the rest of our carnelians. Um, I'll keep it. Uh, then from the, the bad news is this one. Uh, this looks uh, just fractured to heck, so I'm going to put a chisel on there and just break this into small pieces, and I probably won't get much out of this either way. So that one's going to get broken up. And then these four I just thought were interesting, uh, so if I just stop and show them to you. Uh, this one just has kind of cool patterns going on here. I think most of this will tumble off by the time I get into the inside of it. Um, there's a big groove right here. Maybe I should break this one, but I'm not going to. Um, this one also has kind of a crust all around it. Um, not, not like it's rough or anything, it's smooth, but I think a lot of that will tumble off, so I thought I'd show it to you before it does that. Um, there's some pretty deep holes in there to get tumbled out yet. Um, that's another one with a little water level. Um, marks there. It's kind of cool. And uh, another one with that kind of crusty stuff. So I thought those were kind of neat. So let's go back in. And with those in there, uh, we're down about halfway uh, full here. And this is the, the little odds and ends actually out of two barrels, out of this barrel and this barrel. So they're all going to go in here to get uh, fill in the little holes in between. And then, since this is low and I don't have any more carnelians, um, this is a batch of stuff from Michigan that I've been working on. Uh, and it's getting to be a little bit small for this barrel, so uh, I thought I'd just combine the two, and I'm not worried about mixing this up for a carnelian. So this is a piece of jasper. Uh, i got another piece of jasper, another piece of jasper. Uh, so those are going to go in here. And then these are uh, banded chert, so those don't look anything like carnelian, so I won't get those mixed up. And there's some other odds and ends uh, I'll probably throw in there also. So that'll bring this up to about three quarters full. That's probably enough for this week, and these will go in next week. Um, but this will be a combination from here on out. And uh, I just make sure that I've got rocks that I can tell the difference in. So that's it for this week, and I'll see you again next week. Well, I'm starting to make a little progress on the carnelians. I got two more done. Uh, unfortunately, this is a carnelian, and this is one of those other rocks that's not a carnelian. So I think I have five, six of these rocks that aren't carnelians, and about looks like six that are carnelians. So I'm just keeping them all together. Uh, this one has really big cracks in it a couple places. So that one's going to meet Mr. Chisel, and just if you. If you're thinking that I'm not making any progress at all, uh, the volume now is down to about half the barrel here. So when I first put all the rocks in here, it was about three quarters. Uh, last week I threw in these rocks, or maybe it was a week before. Um, that brings it up to, to not quite enough. Um, still got my little pieces to go in there. We're still not up to three quarters, so uh, I'm taking out a couple of rocks here and there. 
Uh, but I can still put in some more of these Michigan rocks uh, to kind of bring up the volume a little bit. So I'm making progress. There it is about three quarters full. I'm going to break this into about three pieces and it's going to go in there also. Um, let's put a more in. So as long as the volume is going down, I'm not making progress. These are just really deeply pitted rocks in the first place. So they're going to take a little while to get done. So uh, that's it for this week. See you next week. This week I have two done. So that's good. And this one's been in there since the beginning. It has some really deep holes in here. These go almost all the way through. Not all the way through because I don't see them on the other side, but really close. So I'm going to throw this in with a batch of rocks that have holes in them like this that aren't going to really get any better. Um, so then I don't have to worry about carrying grit through to other stages. I'll put all the, the rocks with holes in them together and I'll be careful with that batch and the rest of the batch they don't have to worry about so much. So that's it for this week. This is a big week. We got all these done. Uh, those, those are ready to go on. And these are really close. I just want to show you the sorts of things I look for. There's a little tiny shallow uh, fracture right there. We call that a spall. Um, this one's got a little messed up spot there and a little spall there. A little rough spot on this one. This one probably could move on, but there's a couple spots in here that are just really close uh, to being perfect, and I'd rather have perfect rock. So they go back in. And then these are some of the filler rocks I had in here. These are from Lake Superior. Um, those got done. So the volume is down a little bit in here. Um, got to add these in. These are just more Lake Superior rocks. And I'll probably have to find something else to throw in there to bring the volume up a little bit. There's no point in wasting space in there. So, good week here. Uh, ready for one more week? We made good progress this week. These are all done. This one's done too. I don't know if you can see here, but there's, I think this might be called a tube agate. I know some Lake Superior agates are called tube agates. Uh, but this has little pin holes that go right down into the rock. You can see right in there. So I'm going to put this in a different batch with a bunch of other rocks with little holes in them so that I can not have to worry about it contaminating this if grit gets stuck in those little holes. So those are done. Uh, these are the rest that were done already. So we're getting a little closer. These are also done. Uh, they're not carnelians, but they're just some odds and ends I threw in there. It's a pretty nice pudding stone. So those are finished. These are finished as fillers, and I'll have to add some more fillers again because this is still quite low even with those in there. So I'll find some other rocks to throw in there, and this will go back on for another week. We got two little guys done this week, and uh, this is down a little bit, so I'll have to add a few more rocks to that. Well, look what's done this week. A whole handful of them. That one's really cool. It's got some really nice banding in it. A lot of these don't have much banding at all. Um, but all those are done. Um, still got the barrel full of them here. Uh, I'll have to add a few more rocks. So those go in there. And I put them in here. We're getting pretty close. Uh, another week or two and we should have enough to run this barrel. So, pretty happy with this week's uh, tumbling. Alright, this week we have six more done. So with that, I'll put those in there and I'm going to see how we're coming along here. We're uh, getting close. Probably run these in another week or two. Uh, there's several more in there that were really close to being done, so just about to the next step. Didn't hardly take any time at all. Alright, it's a big day today. Uh, I think we're all done with the rough stage, at least enough to fill one barrel. So I've got five and a half new rocks, so they're going to go into a little barrel here. And I'm going to fill up so the bottom's just covered. And then we're going to take some plastic pellets and fill them around here so that just kind of barely almost covers them. I'm going to put another layer of rocks. And then a few more pellets. Now these pellets are pellets I've used before in the 220 stage, which is what this stage is going to be. So uh, you don't want to use your pellets in the next stage. I'll show you that as we go along. A few more pellets. A few more rocks. A 
All right, so I think I'm going to just stop right there. Uh, I don't want to put any more than that in. These rocks were in the carnelian batch. If you remember along the way, I picked out some that weren't actually uh, carnelians. So I don't have room for those. I'm not going to put them. So next we're going to put in water. Uh, I can't really tip this up right now, but water's going to come up to the top of the ro uh, rocks, or just almost up to the top of the rocks. It's kind of hard to pour it out or pour too much in. So well, the water's right here. Hopefully you can see that. Um, so then we're going to use silicon carbide 220 grit, and I'm going to put in five tablespoons of this. This is going to run for one week on the tumbler. Now, if you use a lotto tumbler, um, or I, I don't have experience with other vibratory tumblers, but I'm sure they're similar. Um, I would use two tablespoons and it holds a few more rocks. This is a three pound barrel. Uh, the Lotto Tumbler is a four and a half pound barrel, so you save a lot of grit. So instead of five tablespoons, you'd use two. And then in the next stage, this is even more savings on the Lotto Tumbler, plus I get done a lot quicker. But it's another tumbler to buy, so I wanted to show the plastic bead method. So this is going to go on the, the uh, tumbler for one week. All right, so this has been running for a week in 220 grit. And it's time to open up and see what we got. So I got to admit that I'm not used to running these plastic pellets. This is not the way I usually do things. Usually I use a vibratory tumbler. So we're going to see what happens here. Well, first problem I see is they're kind of stuck on the bottom. Uh, that might be because I had them sitting on the counter for a couple minutes. So um, everything seems to have settled. Hopefully they weren't in the tumbler that way all week. If you set these down just for a little bit, this stuff basically turns into concrete, so not completely surprised. Although I do have a lot of unfinished grit in there, so that's not good, but I also put quite a bit of grit in. So we'll see what happens. When things go wrong, we can learn things there too, so if we have a failure here, it's not the end of the world. So whenever you use plastic pellets, it just slows everything down. It cushions stuff so much that it just takes a lot longer. So I've made the mistake of using plastic pellets in the first stage before, and uh, that's a really bad idea because the first stage just never, never gets done that way. So uh, let me rinse this a little bit more. And then we have to try to separate the rocks from the little plastic beads. All right, I'm gonna separate those out. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just take them over to the sink. I don't think you need to see this part. Um, once I get, I'll rinse this a couple more times, make sure that all the grit is out of there. And then I'll just pick the rocks off the top and probably rinse them one at a time as I pull them out and put them back into the barrel. So I'll be back with you in a minute. I just got done rinsing these off in the sink. Uh, made sure that all the little plastic pellets were off of them. Uh, they rinsed really carefully, but you really don't want any of those plastic pellets from the 220 stage uh, moving on into the next stage. So we're going to use dedicated pellets for each stage. So I've got them labeled here. Uh, these are just for 500, and the next time I do a batch of 500, those pellets will go back in there again. So we're going to load this up like we did last time. So I've got a few rocks in there, and then I put in a few pellets. So just sort of cover them up, and then a few more rocks, so we'll just keep alternating back and forth. Right. 
That should do it. So it's like that. And we're going to switch to uh, aluminum oxide polish. So up until this point we've been using silicon carbide. And the silicon carbide, when it breaks down, the little pieces of grit break into smaller little pieces of grit, but they actually break and they leave sharp edges. So that's really good for cutting and grinding. Uh, this stuff, when it breaks down, it's in little round balls, uh, you know, very small. But as it wears down, they just get smaller and smaller and smaller, but they stay round. So this is better for smoothing out and polishing. So we're going to put in six tablespoons of this, but I think I'll put the water in first. We want the water, I'm going to tip it so I can see when it's getting up towards the top. I want the water just about there. So I can see the water down in here, I don't know if it shows on the camera, so it'll be just below the level of the rocks. And then we're going to go with six tablespoons. And this kind of kills me to put in six tablespoons because in the Lotto tumbler, which is what I usually use, the vibratory tumbler, i got to count here, four, five, six. Uh, in the Lotto tumbler, I use a half a teaspoon. So I just put in six tablespoons. And a half a teaspoon is this little guy. So in the Lotto tumbler, I can actually do a little bit. This is a three pound barrel. That's a four and a quarter pound barrel, I think. Uh, four and a half, something like that. Uh, I use one of those in the bigger barrel. I use six of these in this barrel. So that's the difference between a uh, vibratory tumbler and a rotary tumbler like this. This takes a lot longer um, and it does use a lot more grit also. So this is going to go on for another two weeks and then uh, it will be on to the polish stage and then we'll be done. Alright, so our 500 stage is finished. Let's see what we got here. The next step is the polish stage, but before I do that, I'm going to make absolutely sure that these are good and clean and ready to go. So I have rinsed them under the sink uh, after I rinsed them in the bucket really well. Uh, I've got the rocks and the pellets and the water back in here. The water's just below the top of the rocks. Uh, and I'm going to put in two tablespoons of borax. And then I'm going to run this for you know, two or three hours and then rinse it out one more time just to make sure all the old grit is out of there. And uh, that way when I go into the final stage, I don't have anything to worry about. So I'll be back and show you how to fill it up for the polish stage here in, uh, in just a minute. Well, be a couple hours for me, a minute for you. All right, we're just about finished. Uh, I've got my rocks back in the barrel. Uh, this is a new barrel just for polish. Uh, if you have an extra barrel just for polish, it's kind of nice just to make sure there's no other grits uh, embedded in there. Um, so I've got the rocks and pellets layered in here just like before and then the water filled up almost to the very top. You can see that maybe the pellets floating a little bit there. Uh, and I'll put some polish in there for in a second. Uh, here's a rock and what it looks like after 500. Uh, this was actually in for about three weeks and it's slightly shiny, very slightly. Um, so it's don't expect to be shiny. In the Lotto tumbler, after the 500 stage, the rocks would be really shiny, uh, but not so much in a rotary tumbler. So don't let that bother you if they're not getting shiny yet. So these are going to have three tablespoons of aluminum oxide polish added in here. And then I'm going to start to throw that on the tumbler for two and a half weeks. And uh, then they'll be done. So I'll see you in two and a half weeks. So these just came out of the polish stage. And we're just about done now. So I'm going to do one last step on these, which is to burnish them. And burnishing is something that I think is kind of overrated and I usually don't do it. Uh, my purpose in doing a burnish stage is to make sure the rocks are completely cleaned off so that there's no grit stuck in any little holes or cracks or anything that might be left. And the reason I don't do burnishing very often is because I don't, I try not to leave little holes uh, in the rocks. I try to get them completely smooth before uh, they go into the tumbler and that way I don't have to worry about that so much. But what I'm going to do is put all this stuff back in and rinse it off really well first. Then the rocks and these plastic, these same plastic pellets are going to go right back in. 
and I would put in two tablespoons of borax and water pretty much up to the top of the rocks and I'm going to run it for several hours, four, five, six hours. Uh, I don't think it's really that important how long they go. Um, anywhere in that range should be fine. So uh, I'll do that and I'll be right back. This is the moment we've been waiting for. They're all done and shined up, so let's take a closer look at them. All right. We'll start with this little guy. Looks pretty good. One that's a little more orange. Some cracks up in there. It's a nice one. Not very much banding in most of these. Some have banding, uh, some don't. Here's a pretty nice size one with some pretty good banding right there. Nothing on this side. Here's one that's much more orange than most of them. Like that one. There's a little bad spot I could have tumbled a little more. Oh well. And some of these are kind of almost white with some orange coloring to them. Like some orange cracks in that case. Got some watermarks on it. Or are those little orbs? I can't tell. Hmm. Here's a nice one. This might be the best one in the whole batch. Bands there and there. That one's really cool. I like the color of that one too. The orange are the better for me. So I think that's some of the outside surface of the rock. It didn't get ground all the way off, which makes it more interesting. So here's one where I can just barely feel that there. Um, might have been better to hit that with a hammer, knock that off. That's why I break some of them so I don't have spots like that left in the rocks because personally I don't like that that much. Uh, other people think that kind of adds character. So everybody's got their own opinions, which is fine. But personally I'd rather not have that, that crack in there. A little water level banding in that one. So these are not quite as shiny as my rocks usually are when I do them in the Lotto Tumbler. Uh, that the vibratory tumbler I think is really easy to get a good polish on. I do basically the same thing every time and get pretty consistently good results every time. Uh, where with rotary tumbling it takes longer, uh, use a lot more grit, and I don't always get quite the shine that I want. Like I said, this shine is it's good, but it's not great. Uh, so I certainly didn't waste or spare any time. I took a lot of time doing these and they still didn't turn out quite right. So actually my tumbling preferences are number one I like to do them in the rotary tumbler and finish them up in a vibratory tumbler. First stage in the rotary and all the rest in the vibe tumbler. Uh, that's my favorite. Second would be to do them with ceramic media rather than plastic media in the rotary tumbler. Uh, I find they get done a little bit quicker and I've gotten better results. And I don't have lots of experience rotary tumbling because I bought a vibratory tumbler before my first rotary batch was done. Uh, I just decided it was going to save me money and grit, uh, save money on electricity because it doesn't run so long, and most importantly get stuff done a lot quicker. So I just spent the 200 bucks and got a lotto tumbler and I haven't regretted it. But not everybody wants to make that kind of investment when they first get started with something, and I understand that. So rotary tumbling's the way to go for a lot of people. And I would just get the ceramic 
and tumble with that rather than the plastic. But if you already got plastic, uh, this is what you're going to get. It's kind of neat. And uh, honestly, I've seen people do rotary tumbling with a with a plastic media and get really, really good results. Better than what I just got here. So if you haven't seen them already, I have two other videos. One uh, rotary tumbling with ceramics and one rotary tumbling and then following with vibratory tumbling. I'll put links to both of those in the description of this video if you want to go see them. Spent this much time watching this video and polishing these rocks. I'm showing you every last one. Here's one that's just sort of white. A little bit of orange there. A little tiny chip of a guy there. That one's more brown. I don't know if I'd call that a carnelian. Kind of brown also. I like that though. Isn't that cool? You can see right in there. And this is the last one. That is all the rocks in that batch. So I'll post some uh, still pictures of these also. Not every single one, but I'll pick out some of my favorites and take some stills of them. So uh, stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe.